fire. Assignment editor Mike Rogers at the desk. Mike, this is a fire that exploded yeah. in size. 30,000 acres tonight. Yeah, and really shockingly quick as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I want to remind everybody that all three of these fires, uh, with the exception of the line fire, has been burning a little bit longer. But, you know, the, the, the airport fire, the bridge fire, these have only been burning for a day, two days. I mean, we're talking 30,000 acres since Sunday and extraordinary growth just since yesterday. I want to show you some of that video that we've been looking at, that we've been showing you. This is Sky Cal just before sunset, uh, and it really gives you a big picture of the smoke columns and just how much land this is really chewed through. Remember, this started near the Santa Fe Dam Recreation Area on uh, the San Gabriel Valley side and has already pushed its way all the way through through the hills and now reaching the community of Wrightwood that is now under mandatory evacuations. And of course, you know, it's hard for the community of Wrightwood because we saw, uh, we spoke with that small business owner up there that that is their livelihoods. I want to show you more video here from the cameras. This is actually from the ski resort up there in Wrightwood uh, that you can see was being taken over by the flames, by the smoke left side of your screen. That's where those flames are going to start to poke through here. These are again uh, in the winter would be where people are skiing, where people are enjoying themselves. Again, another other business in our community that is now going to have to deal with these uh, circumstances that this fire has prevented. Now, uh, just before, right around 7 o'clock hour, we brought that to you live here on KCAL News, uh, there was uh, a press conference held by several people, the LA County Sheriff Robert Luna, LA County Fire Chief uh, Anthony Maroney. I want to play you a bit of that press conference. There has been substantial wildfire growth throughout the day with movement to the north and the east with impacts to the communities of Mount Baldy and Wrightwood. The fire department resources are being deployed for structure defense in those areas. Not only Los Angeles County Fire Department resources, but regional resources. Our top priority right now is to protect residents, communities, critical communications and power grid infrastructure. As a region, our fire agencies are at drawdown with three major fires burning in Southern California. The bridge fire here in LA County, the line fire in San Bernardino County, and the airport fire in Orange County. These three simultaneous fires are stressing resources for the fire department, so we're asking for resources from Northern California and adjoining states. The mandatory evacuation orders are in place. Those are mandatory evacuation orders for the Mount Baldy and Wrightwood communities. We urge everyone who's under an evacuation order to leave now. If you're under an evacuation warning, you should prepare to leave at a moment's notice. We have evacuation centers set up the Antelope Valley Fairground, the San Bernardino County Fairground, and the LA County Fairground in Pomona. Animal shelters are also set up at the, animal, at the Antelope Valley Fairground and the DeVore Animal Shelter. For road closures, in the Mount, we have Mount Baldy Road at Shin Road. We have State Route 39, and that's the San Gabriel Canyon Road. We have the East Fork Road. The Wrightwood Road closures are Highway 2 and Highway 138, Glendora Ridge Road, and Glendora Mountain Road. We urge everybody to please take immediate action if you're in the fire area and leave when evacuation orders are sent. Leaving early will give you and your family the best chance of surviving this incident. You will also help firefighters and law enforcement and sheriff's deputies by keeping roads clear and open so they can do their job. Yeah, and their job really intense tonight. This is another angle from one of the uh, tower cameras that are up there, and you can see uh, just the fire burning right up against it. These are cameras that are designed to spot fires from a, uh, from a distance away uh, without having to have people up in the forest. And as you can see, the fire has come right up to it. I want to show you one more camera really quickly because uh, I just think this underscores uh, what we're looking at. You see the glow on the hill. This is from the Hollywood Hills. This fire can now be seen from the Hollywood Hills. This is our camera up on the Hollywood Hills. So really incredible uh, the amount of flames that are still there. And I want to point out that's on the Los Angeles County side. The bulk of this fire has now pushed through and is on the other side towards the high desert. So even still tonight, you can see that fire burning from the Hollywood Hills as it explodes to more than 30,000 acres, guys.
All right, Mike, thank you. And we are talking to other officials out there um, covering this, uh, the, the bridge fire, and we're getting a new information tonight um, from um, Mason Judy. He's the pu public uh, information officer uh, for the Forest Services talking about the bridge fire. Um, Nathan um, Judy uh, on the phone with us now. Can you give us an update as to uh, the evacuations, uh, the evacuation orders out there right now? And we know the fire has spread to more than 34,000 acres of land out there uh, with the bridge fire. And thanks for joining us here tonight. Of course, not a problem at all. Yeah, Nathan Judy with the U.S. Forest Service. Um, so just as Chief Moroni uh, said in that video you guys just played, those evacuation orders are still in place. We haven't had any new ones just yet, but I know that some warnings will be coming out. So I just encourage everyone to continue to look at the sheriff's social media site. That's both L.A. County and San Bernardino County Sheriff's, along with um, the fire departments, both L.A. County and San Bernardino County, for any new evacuation warnings that do come out or orders. We just want folks to be very prepared in case a warning comes out. That means you get your stuff packed, get your stuff ready, medications, um, prescriptions, photos, important paperwork, of course, your, your pet's uh, paperwork, and extra pet food if you want to make sure you're taking your pets out of there in case you do have to evacuate on a moment's notice. Um, the fire really did get established today in a couple of the, the canyon bottoms and ran through a wilderness area to the north and to the east. And that's where you saw threats come towards the uh, Wrightwood area and the Mount Baldy area as well. And Nathan, if you can just talk to us about uh, the areas that are uh, under evacuation orders tonight and those areas that are under threat from this fire. Um, so the areas that have been under evacuation orders, that's the East Fork of the San Gabriel River, that's Camp Williams in there and the river community, the Mount Baldy area above Shin Road, and in Wrightwood, I don't have the exact, the exact uh, areas in Wrightwood, but I know as uh, the sheriff talked about tonight on our press conference, um, at least 34 homes were evacuated in that area. I would think more by now as the fire continues to move that direction. Uh, Nathan, do you have any uh, numbers when it comes to the amount of buildings or homes uh, being threatened tonight by the bridge fire? Earlier, our Nicole Comstock uh, talked about 65,000 uh, homes um, being threatened out there. Uh, you know, I don't have an exact number for you, but that wouldn't surprise me if it was about that. You know, and it's really looking at the communities that could be threatened. That's not just Wrightwood or, or Mount Baldy, but you have the communities along the what we call the front country. Um, you know, the fire hasn't moved down there yet. We don't want to scare people to think it's going to, but the people have to be aware. You know, you have Claremont, you have a Laverne, you have San Dimas, you have Glendora. Um, those communities, are, are Dewarty, you know, there's a lot of communities on the foothill areas that just need to be aware in case a warning does come down. The fire was, again, burning north and east, but anyone that's within the vicinity of the fire or around it um, should just be ready at a moment's notice in the case they need to evacuate. So, Nathan, what is the plan for firefighters tonight? I know that uh, the stretch resources are making things very difficult for firefighters across our state, not just our area. Uh, what is the plan? Uh, our firefighters will be working throughout the night, as we have been the last few nights. Um, we've been hitting the, the fire real hard and real heavy with aircraft at nighttime, dropping fire retardants. Um, the, the folks that we got that were funded by California, uh, Southern California Edison, those night flying aircraft really helped with hammering the front country uh, over the few nights with air retardant drops, with water drops to suppress that fire from moving um, south down the hills into those front country communities. So we really appreciate all the great work that they've done. They're going to continue that fight. But it's not just a fight in the air. We need to make sure our boots on the ground are prepared because what aircraft does, putting retardant down or water down, is slowing the progression of the fire. But it's really the boots on the ground that can cut line and just stop, stop the spread of that fire. All right. Thanks a lot uh, for the very latest there on the bridge fire from Nathan Judy, the public information officer uh, for forestry, for forest services. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight, Nathan.